Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Smark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the best secure business VPN provider. Which VPN should you pick for your business? Now, I've covered a lot of VPNs here on my channel, but specifically talking about a business VPN, we are going to be having a strict criteria for which VPN to choose. Choosing a business VPN versus a more consumer friendly VPN can be different. Certain VPN providers provide business plans and consumer plans. Certain VPNs also have different kind of details about them that we need to think about when choosing a business VPN. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about specific qualifications you should be looking for when choosing a business VPN. I'm going to give you my recommendation. I'll put the link in the description and pin comment down below. If you want to click on that link, it'll help support the channel. I'm not sponsored by my preferred business VPN provider. Um, but if you do want to help the channel, I really appreciate it that way. So guys, let's go ahead and check it out, which is my qualifications. And then I'll list my chosen business VPN after that and put the link in the description down below. All right, guys, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. If you also want to see more VPN videos. All right, guys. So first up, let's talk about some of the qualifications we need for our business VPN. Number one, probably the most important thing for a business VPN provider is to be very transparent. And what do I mean by that? Well, preferably you need a VPN that is transparent in terms of where it's located and preferably based in your jurisdiction. That way you can have similar laws, you know, legal frameworks. And if you have data in that country, you're going to be able to have a more uh, transparent kind of relationship with that VPN, uh, not only in terms of legal things, but just like in terms of in terms of maybe you need to have a meeting or something like that. If you're based in the United States, I don't know if you really want to use a VPN based in Sweden or something like that. I mean, what if you need to have a meeting or something like that and they're on a different time zone? So not only just for the transparency sake and legal transparency of being in the same country for similar laws, but also in terms of convenience of picking a VPN that you know you can actually develop a relationship with, I think that's something that's important. I wouldn't necessarily use a VPN using a shell location. It, I wouldn't recommend using a VPN based in the British Virgin Islands, Panama, or anything like that. Especially for business use, you need to have a good relationship and a transparent relationship with a VPN that is in a accountable country. Using a VPN based on a cell location means they kind of are subject to different laws and there might be more legal things to jump through um, to if something goes wrong. Now that kind of leads me into my second point, which is related, which would be transparent owners and shareholders. Does the VPN you um, um, want to use have transparent ownership? and shareholders in the country you're looking to use it in. Um, a lot of VPNs kind of obfuscate their shareholders um, and their board and stuff like that. Um, so when picking a VPN, you really want to be able to isolate who's in the control of the company. Um, you know, if there's any shareholders, you know, what's going on behind the team, the scenes in terms of financial relationships, who's invested in the company. These are things that are important when choosing a VPN for your business and a lot of VPNs um, they're either purchased by other companies like stuff with Cape, um, or there is some other things going on behind the scenes where it's not quite as clear how money is being shifted around, which can be problematic, especially if that VPN does something wrong, it could reflect poorly on your business. Next up, that leads me into my next point. You do want to choose a VPN with a good reputation in court. Can you find a VPN that has gone to court and proven not to give away logs on its customer base? This is something that's very important. And if you're choosing a VPN for your business, you do not want any of your business information being subject to being given away or anything like that, opening up a huge legal can of worms for you. Not only that, but you also want a VPN that is proven to be secure long term. You don't want to choose a VPN that has had any incidences of poor security vulnerabilities. And unfortunately, that already annihilates a lot of VPN options out there. Um, another one going into our next point that leads me to uh, is you want to choose a VPN that is self-made. You don't want to choose a VPN that's bootstrapped by other VPNs. You don't always know who's involved from the ground floor and what other shareholders or investors have bootstrapped the business. I, if I, if I was a business choosing a VPN, I would want a VPN that's self-made, has the same owners the entire time. Again, once again, this does annihilate a lot of options out there. A lot of VPNs that are big nowadays were bootstrapped by other VPNs. They have partnerships behind the scene, whether transparent or hidden, and that's something you need to think about. 
Another thing you want to look for is no deceptive marketing practices. You don't want to be tricked into using a product you don't like for your team or anything like that. You want to use a VPN that has clearly laid out what the VPN offers and the pricing that you will get. Um, a lot of VPNs have deceptive pricing tricks and that's something you need to look out for long term for your business's uh, money. Lastly, there are some core technical things you're going to need from a business VPN. Um, I'm just going to list out some of the things here that I've found important. Dedicated IP assignment. Sometimes you need IPs for certain whitelisting things on the business side. You're going to need uh, SIM use limitations, um, the ability to add and remove users, the ability to set passwords for certain users, and you can limit it to a single admin account depending on how you want to run the business side of uh, the VPN operations. You know, do you want one person owning it or I'm kind of assigning things? These are things you're going to have to think about when choosing a business VPN and you're going to need some of those core features. Like I said, dedicated IPs, um, you're going to want a dedicated account manager as well. A good user account uh, manager uh, like control panel section. So the interface is easy to use. You're going to also want plenty of simultaneous connections too, um, as well as some of the core things you're going to need from a VPN, fast speeds, ability to block adware and malware and multi-platform support too. So guys, overall, which is the VPN? So guys, overall, which is the VPN I recommend for using in terms of business? So guys, in terms of finally choosing the product, I do think that TorGuard is my preferred option to recommend people. They have a business VPN package with all the features I pretty much mentioned down to every single point. They're an excellent company. If we're talking about transparency, they're owned by a company called VPN Networks LLC, which is just the name of their company. They have a website. Although the website's pretty simple, it just has different emails that you could get in contact with them if you want more information. Wherever the company itself is based in the United States, which is good for people who want to use a business in the United States. There's actually not a ton of good VPNs based in the United States. So if you're in the United States looking for a VPN based in the same location, TorGuard is actually the one to go with. Now, in terms of the owners and stuff like that, TorGuard has always been owned by the same people. You can find some information about them if you do some digging around. The company has always been pretty transparent and friendly. Um, the owner is Benjamin Van Pelt. They're based in Orlando, Florida, and they were founded around 2012. So pretty much all the information is very easily found. They're not hiding behind a shell location or anything like that. It seems to be one of the few businesses that's pretty transparent about who owns it and when it's made. And from what I could find about the company, they've always been self-made. They haven't really had any huge investments from any companies. They haven't purchased any other companies and they've never been bought out either. So right away, they already meet a lot of our requirements with those things. Now, if we're talking about some of the other things like deceptive marketing practices or anything like that, TorGuard is very good in not doing any of those things. What you see is what you get. What you pay for is what you will pay. And sadly, that's not always the case with other VPNs. There's no increase in prices. And you simply pick a plan is the one that is good for you, depending on if you need more user seats or not. The good thing about these accounts is they also come with private email accounts, probably TorGuard's private mail service. Now, private mail is actually one of the better VPN, uh, uh, VPN packaged email accounts. It's a very strong email service and actually the one I use too. So depending on you know how many business seats you need, it goes all the way up to 20. Um, so that's definitely an option. It's going to be around $169 a month. And you also have options to purchase SIM annual or annual. So the good thing about these is they also come with custom setup available depending on how many users you're getting. So if you decide to purchase a 20 user account for business VPN, you also get 20 private email accounts, which is a pretty good deal. You're not gonna get that good of a deal anywhere else. 10 dedicated IPs and custom setup available for those people. So this is a pretty good deal, guys. It also includes the main TorGuard VPN subscription, the v VPN, um, the kind of the core service there um, that's gonna be available for everyone on every platform with those good ability to block ads and stuff like that and um, the secure VPN access. Now, we've done tons of TorGuard reviews here on the channel, more about you know what kind of VPN it is, what kind of features it has. So if you guys want even more details, if you're thinking about choosing TorGuard for your business VPN package, I've done even more videos on just kind of how the VPN itself, the technical details of it, how it operates. Very quickly, we can look at my tier list. This is more for consumer grade things but I've made a very specific ranking system for every VPN. And this is more about the core VPN technical abilities. 
And as you can see here, TorGuard has very good features, WireGuard, kill switches, all sorts of applications, um, and of course, very good speeds. They have around, I think, 50 plus countries supported, so even for people who are traveling. And the privacy audit is very good, two-factor authentication, open source analytics, and stuff like that, and probably some of the best customer support around. So overall, TorGuard is definitely my recommended business VPN. Once again, this video was not sponsored. TorGuard did not pay me to make this video, but if you like this VPN offering, if you like the way I described it, if you like what I think is a good business VPN, if you do click on the link, it will help support the channel due to the affiliate partnership I have with them and pretty much every other VPN. If TorGuard doesn't sound the right one for you, check out some of the other VPNs here on the channel. Some of these other ones might also have good VPN packages for business, so check those out as well. I just think that TorGuard probably is the best one, especially for that pricing, the email combination, and the features and transparency of the company itself. And that's just my final thoughts. Anyways, guys, thanks for the support ahead of time, and I'll see you again very soon.